We're out at the Hoogle Mound. Welcome back, everybody. We got some Hoogle culture going behind us. So guys, last uh, last summer, summer, spring, summer, probably summer-ish. Last summer we built this hugel bed. Uh, we cleared a bunch of land out in the front of our property where the where the blacksmithing shop is going up right now. And this is what we did with it. We put all the debris, a bunch of live, bunch of dead trees down in here, and then this is all the dirt uh, that was sitting out there. Tons of organic matter inside this thing. There was leaves, there was pine needles, there were uh, dead bugs, there were live bugs. Good stuff. So what we've got is this just gigantic hoogle bed that the goats are currently cleaning up. We just threw uh, some chicken, some old chicken bedding for the chicks. All our little poopies and extra feed. So the goats are up there getting all that extra feed. So guys, we've thrown quite a bit of stuff up on here um, throughout the year. There's a lot of hay all over the top of this stuff. We've thrown out a lot of bedding as well, a lot of the old chicken manure, a lot of goat manure. Of course, it's getting you know sprinkled right now. The, this bed is huge, and this year what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some stuff in here, and I'm, you guys can tell me in the comments if this is the right stuff to throw, but my plan is to do tomatoes, peppers, and strawberries on the Hoogle Mound. I think that's just what I'm gonna try and grow. I think the tomatoes are gonna to do fantastic. I think the strawberries are gonna do fantastic. Uh, I'm not sure about the peppers. We'll see. But that's kind of my thoughts. Uh, if I'm totally way off, you guys put it in the comments, set me straight. Right now, that's an issue. The goats being out, I'll not, I will not grow anything on the Hoogle Mound with the goats out. So the goats gotta go. So we will have some goats for sale uh, in the near future. I actually believe I've got that little one right there sold. And then um, possibly the other two little twins as well. So we might have three more of those guys right there. Those two right back there, uh, the, they might be sold as well. So this is gonna be my little project. Uh, the Hoogle Mound out here is kinda gonna be my garden, um, what I add to the farm. And I'm gonna kinda turn it into a contest with Shelby. And I told her, I think my hoogle mound will do better than your garden. So we'll see, we're gonna put it to the test. But if these guys are out, they're gonna eat everything. And Shelby will win, so we can't have that. So in today's video, guys, we're actually gonna go over germinating seeds. We're gonna run over and do that, get set up, and uh, show you guys how we're gonna germinate our tomato and pepper seeds. So stay tuned and we'll get started. All right guys, welcome to the seed germinating video. Today we're gonna to show you guys how to germinate some seeds, get them started for your garden. We're gonna go over all of the items that you're gonna need for this, pretty simple stuff, usually a little bit, you know, household items, shouldn't be too hard to come by. Uh, so our first item today, guys, we're gonna need some paper towels. You're gonna to need a couple of paper towels. You're gonna to need a water bottle, spray it down. Not totally necessary, but it's very handy. You're gonna need some plastic bags. We're using the bigger ones because we have quite a few seeds to do. Which brings us to the next item. You are gonna need some seeds. We're gonna be doing some uh, So Easy Pepper Bell. They're, they're bell peppers and they're a color mix. These ones looked cool. They're coated with something. There's 100 seeds in there and they cost it a little more than the regular ones. I'm not sure uh, what the deal is with those, but we're gonna try them out. And then we've just got some jalapeno ones and these are gonna be going on the Hoogle Mound. You're also gonna need a Sharpie marker. So if you got those items, let's get started. 
All right, guys, so first item today, we're gonna be taking the paper towels. We're doing it outside to get some good light, but it is windy. Cows, you hold that? Sure can. I've noticed that if you wet the paper towel first, not too much, but just a little bit, kind of get it moist, that the seeds will stick a little bit better. So you're gonna take your seeds. We've got our jalapeno seeds going on first, and we've got our little helpers as well. And what they're going to do is they're gonna spread all those seeds out. You don't want to spread the seeds on top of each other. So you're just gonna spread them out a little bit, get about an inch or so in between every seed, give it a little bit of room to grow a tail. All right, once you've got your seeds spread out across the paper towel, what you're gonna do is just fold your paper towel in half. And then go ahead and wet your paper towel down. Now you're gonna be getting it pretty wet. Okay, next you're gonna to wanna to take your plastic bag and you're gonna pick these dudes up and you're just gonna slip them into the plastic bag, like so. And then you can add a few more spritz of water. You wanna make sure you got plenty of water in there. That looks good. Okay guys, so that is one done. Now don't forget to mark what you're germinating. And if you want, you can date it as well too to keep track of it. We are doing everything today, so we'll just remember the date. Okay, now we're ready to repeat the process. and wet it down. Okay, so now that you're done with your two, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna store these out of the sunlight. We don't want all this to evaporate, so we're gonna store this out of the sunlight, and we should be uh, seeing some tails in about seven to 12 days, at which time they're gonna be ready to go into your garden. So guys, we will be checking back in on the progress of these in about a week or so. We are gonna check them every day just to kinda see what they're doing, make sure that they don't run out of water, make sure that we gave them plenty. Uh, if you guys found this video to be helpful, please hit that thumbs up. Don't be afraid to subscribe. It's free. It's free this week, so hurry up and get in. Guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.